Oh my god, what the hell is that thing? I have a fear. Don't we all? Yeah, let's go. Jump scare warning, people. It was very nice to present that to me at the beginning of the intro. So, a piece made by Adrian G. We've got a couple of scary eyes there. Not sure what's in for me. Infamy. Action treats despair. Not taking action treats terror. Is this guy's first release as well? First public release, anyway. I believe it is a collage of what he has created, which will most likely involve a lot of fears. I could scream a lot. I've been screaming a lot recently, haven't I? Answer the door. Yeah, he was loud enough, wasn't he? Hang on. Remember, it's not real. Okay. Oh, where? Oh, wow. I've got to make my way in the dark. Light switch. Doesn't work. Right. I'm just going to... I'm just going to guess where the front door is. What a long cabin. I can run, though. No one there. That was useless. It happened again. Better switch the lights on. There. Wonderful. Wonderful. Woof! That's a very well built cabin. Okay. Oh wow, it's 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 a T section. Okay. Alright, all the lights are on. There! I'm assuming it wants me to switch on all the lights. I had problems finding the lights in a couple of games. Can't see. There's gotta be a Where's a light switch? Oh, it's so dark! Well, I'm finding a door, so I can't find light switches. Oh, wow, this is dark. There we go. Okay, so there was a light in here. Check the basement. It's here. The basement's here? Are you saying it's here as in the creature is here? Or this is the basement. Find a hatch or a door. Ah, there we go. That door's open. Oh, come on, someone give me a light. Sorry about that. I haven't finished this part yet. You're not supposed to be here at all. Don't worry, it's my fault. I should be more careful about my things. Anywho. Since you came this early, there's not much to see. How rude. And I don't want you to play a dull, unfinished game either. We're nowhere near the ending, guys. Now, let's see. How could I make this work? Scary jump scare? Oh, he's got an idea. Let me introduce myself. I'm Adrian. Hello! I like making games. Me too! However, I am very bad at keeping focused on projects. This is where we differ. Now you can be my first official tester. I'm sure I'm not the first, but I bet I'll be the first to complete it. I'll show you some of my unfinished works. Hoping you can give me some constructive feedback. Yes? See? We can make this work. No worries. I'll make a door behind you to proceed. Well, I can see that. Okay. This is a level I made with no purpose. No purpose. I mean, I was thinking about putting it into one of my games. Never got used, so our journey gave it a reason to be made. I 
think it's pretty ideal. Oh, go up on the stairs there. About to pass it, man. Yes, we often make assets for games which inevitably do not get used. Just part of the process. Can be frustrating sometimes, but... Eh. Alright, our destination is the door in the middle over there. Also, thanks for doing this. I think it's always helpful to hear someone's opinion. And you will get nothing but the most professional of opinion from me, sir. You can also rate my works if you want. Just be sincere. I had a look at your profile. All I could see was this game. I don't like guys that are very critical. Here we are. Proceed through the door. Ah, we can start right away. I guess this must be a private viewing. Oh, the getaway. Not much to it. Enter the door, please. I bet there are some scary images behind these, eh? Uh... Some YouTubers just get really critical just for the sake of it. Okay, we can't open these. Like, they get really personal with the developers. Like, insulting them, their work, using curse words and so on. They're saying, what a horrible, terrible, crap game. This is terrible, absolutely terrible. And yet they still put it on their YouTube channel. Why? I was kind of expecting a jump scare just then. <laughs> oh dear, but I'm halfway there. This is one of my first games I made years ago. It's not very polished. Used a lot of pre-made assets and scripts at the time. At least you're prepared to admit that. Your goal is to activate all the generators to escape lift. Slender? Let's give it a shot. That's a one. I'm not sure if this is an authentic claim or it's just part of the game itself. Usually we uh, no longer use the same projects that we build. <laughs> well, I think that was a nice run. I know, I know. May not be fair, it looks kind of wacky. But hey, this was my first work. I think we should go on to the next one. Be wary of gaps in the map that make you fall forever. I encountered them so much. So after making that first game, I realized something. I want to make my own levels and my own code. This game has my work and my work only. Yeah. Your goal is to collect all the pages. Try not to get caught. My first game. Ooh, let's make this a collage. A bit, kind of, ish. My first game in Unity. It was like a space game that I did uh, just for myself, really. See? Simple as that. At least I can run. Kind of. Remember, the game gets harder the more you collect. Do you think he'll pop in? Now let's continue. Wait, I'm missing something or someone. I should be quiet while you're playing. To make the experience more immersive. I won't get that next note just in case I cut off his dialogue and he starts a new one. I'll leave you to do your thing. Good luck. Yes, I made a space game, which was uh, all my build, but terrible. I can't make music. I cannot make music to save my life. I had to <clears throat> borrow some. It's like a space game where you travel from the sun all the way back to Earth, slowly-ish. Fight off an invasion. Never made it onto Game Dodge or anything like that. I suppose the first official release was a Slender Man. I broke my promise here. As it turns out, I've made an enemy in this game. I've not made an enemy in this game. We have no reason to continue here. Ah, oh, I didn't get the last note. That's yeah, alright, it wasn't the original. Sorry about that. I won't let you be disappointed. I really won't. Let's try another one.
Alright, here we are. Those two doors and a security camera. In this game, you work as a security guard or night watchman or something like that. This just isn't right. I shouldn't even call this my work. You can if you made it yourself. I sure do make some pathetic games, don't I? You know what? Give me a chance to make this all work out. I won't let you leave with disappointment. I'll teleport you back to the gallery. Now. There we go. Ah. Hang around here for a bit in this kind of Stanley Parable thingy. I'll finish up with work so I can show it to you. Wait, wait there. Wait, I'm waiting, waiting. Also, don't forget one thing. Hear my voice. Question mark. I swear, if you scream and give me a scary scream. <laughs> well, we're back in the hallway, I think. This time there's no lights. I'm guessing I go the same way that I went last time. Anyone here aware of the game Night Blights? I had very good communication with uh, Hocrust Bun, which was the developer. First one to complete uh, Night, uh, Night Blights. It was a very hard game. Based my other game on that one a little bit. I call it Sparky's Hunt. You should try it. The demo's free anyway. Uh -huh. Now we're talking. The closest Five Nights at Freddy game I ever made is in My 6000 Horrors. Let's have a look at the first piece, shall we? Oh, oh, oh dear. These are actual levels that we're playing? Oh! I have a fear. Things that could happen in our future is scaring me. Sometimes I wish I could just stop for a while. As time gets faster, the wish gets stronger in me, day by day. Until I am in the void surrounded by my own thoughts again. Time makes me experience the pain. The pain! Hello, clocks. Death is only an escape. Oh, where am I going? I'm going nowhere. That was the finish of the first, first piece. Am I still on the first piece or am I on the second piece now? Oh, oh wait. I saw an eye. Patient hospitalized. Birth quite a while ago. Okay, we're not sure about this case. There's no signs of any known medical problems, but still manages to make anybody question how he is even alive. Investigation plan for next week. We need to do. We we need do we need do make medis med. Excuse me. We need do make medication tests on him ASAP. Hospitalized in room 14B until 2L's medication is received. Medication will be made at the local lab on 20th of May. That's 16. Whoa, that took a long time. Well, whoever my doctor is, he can't spell. It's locked. Ah, can't look quite as great. It requires a key. Wish I had a flashlight. Or some matches. There's got to be something in here for me to pick up. Come on, where's the key? Okay, we've got an eye for a note. This is still locked. Gotta be hidden by the side of the bed. There's only so many places. Can I crouch? I cannot crouch. Aha! 
I can't see anything in there. Maybe the lower drawer. There's the key. It is dusty in here and very narrow. All right, I will start on the left side and work my way along. And that was the end of that journey. I don't know why, but the echoing of this hallway reminds me of something. Bunker 16? Didn't play that. Didn't play Bunker 16. I did, however, did play what was recommended to me a short while ago, 3am of the Krusty Krab. But I found it, uh too disturbing for me to play really you don't need this at the moment what do you mean I don't need this at the moment what is that pills I don't need that at the moment either well I've pretty much searched all the drawers ones that I can see anyway CRT monitors! Oh, this truly is my version of hell. Ooh, security card. Okay, drug information document. Yes. Uh, syringe and syrup drugged. Oh, these are the colours that I saw on those pills, aren't they? This is important information. But what's concerning is that, uh, Two of them are red. In fact, the colours are duplicated everywhere. I gotta remember which is the syringes, which ones are pills. Oh, I hope that I hope I don't need to rely on that too heavily. Not a single desk has got a drawer. Supply room. Perhaps I've got to pick up a syringe and inject myself. Uh, oh man, there's so many of them everywhere. Okay, so the things I saw earlier were pills. These are syringes. Okay, I'm obviously going to encounter something or I need to take some sort of drugs at some point in various combination. We'll have to stab. Oh, wait. Is that a red one? I think that's a red one there. I'll leave them open so I can find them quicker. A syrup? That appears to be a syrup. I wonder how many of them are here just for show. A blue syringe. Green syrup. I've set the wheels in motion at least. Nope. Does it have to be so dark? What's this? Hello? Medication recipe. Laboratory tests have been made. Body reactions are documented. Dose and description information documented in the office. Components and orders may differ per treatment to the various results in the lab. Now I've got to get myself Exaprol, Icozine, Zine, Paralazax, and da uh, da. Are, are these real? Sulfopapanadol. Oh, I can't take it with me. Son of a. Do I have to write this down? Okay. E I P A S. Explore magazine, paradox, arrow, sulfur. I'll try to remember them. Can I take that? My hands are. Oh, great! Now I can pick them up. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna write this down on a piece of paper. Hang on again. Hang on, guys. Gonna have to find that list and make a note on the colours that I need. 
Wow, that should have been the first place I went to. I went the long way for that one, didn't I? Okay. Now let's make a note on these colours on this wonderful piece of paper I have here. Where's my pen? Where's my pen? Okay, duly noted. I guess I can only carry one at a time then. Alright. Let's start back here. Take a look at these drawers. Now, I can't see. Okay, uh, what is that? I, damn, that was, that was pills. Pills purple. Oh, good, that was the last one I needed. Sulfur, pata, mada, mada, doll. That was lucky. How do I put them down, then, if, uh, if I make a mistake? Well, maybe I can only pick them up automatically? I better not make a mistake, just to be safe. I was just lucky that time. Hello. Making my own... <laughs> my own medication. <laughs> DIY. Okay, next is uh, a red syringe. We'll do this in, in order of my list in case I get confused. One of these was a red syringe. I swore I saw a red syringe back here somewhere. Oh, there it is. It's just so dark I could barely see it. Add it to the flask. Next is a purple syrup. That is purple syrup. Mm. If I can tell. Those are orange pills, I think. Uh, purple syrup. It's a bottle. Got to find a bottle of purple stuff. <gasps> what the hell is that smiley face guy? Jeez! How do I avoid that guy? That was freaky! Ah, oh, they're in hell! I thought I could make it, but I couldn't. And now I'm starting all over again. Huh. <sighs> Okay, I think I got everything I need. Leave now. I made it! That took a really long time. When will you wake up? Oh look, another door. How nice. Okay, off I go. I'm back here again. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some serious editing there. That, no word of a lie, that took me an hour. There was, it was extremely dark. It, it was. Having a flashlight would certainly would have improved me. If there was a flashlight in that area, I must have missed it. More games! Oh boy. Oh no! One, two, three, four. Oh dear, can I do all this in one video? Alright, piece number two. Let's hope this one is easier than the last one. I have a fear. Unsafe. Always searching for that safe place. Okay, if that's unsafe. One time you think you know where you're going. Oh, hang on a minute. Second time you wish to be where you started. You feel hopeless and desperate. I'm in the unsafe area again. You're heading to your own prison. Nobody wants to keep you in it. Your prison is safe. No one will hurt you. 
Keep searching. Hello. I've got a note here. It's always a good thing. Ah, oh, damn. Hang on. There. All right. Informal letter. Hi, this is Mike. Thank you for going there and investigating. The entire building should be empty by the time I have some info about the situation. The malfunction was said to be happening because of a water leak somewhere in the pipes. But, but it's not a problem anymore. For you, at least. However, the security gate testing chambers seem to be broken. The terminal should be water should be waterproof. It would be impossible for it to be the cause, and this is where you came in place, because the camera has seen something unidentified in one of the rooms. If it has a connection with the terminal issue, you are the best person in our team to solve the case. Your primary task is to fix the terminals by rebooting them. Any other activity is optional. The team needs those computers to do further testing for our corporate for our corporation. Okay, so my task is just to fix the terminals. How hard can it be? To fear the security corp. Okay, I guess we will start with this terminal at reception. Let's try and go around the other way. No. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Lots of places here. Oh, great. Light bulb just broke. And there's my flashlight. Oh, some serious flooding happened here. Okay. Hold click to reboot. Functioning system is damaged. Ha! Fine. What on earth is this? You! And various others. <laughs> okay. So, I'm in this room. And uh, there's going to be something else there, isn't there? So, according to this, I can either go forward or that way. I guess I'll go forward. Oh, each one has a terminal? Okay. Oh! I see! Right, so now, that area... Uh, that's blocked now. Gotta figure this out, huh? Oh, I gotta switch on and switch off terminals in various sequences. That alone is going to prove to be quite the challenge for me. Hopefully nothing's going to kill me. Okay, so if I go down here... Guys, there's something in here with me. Something is moving around. I hope it's me. Okay. All right. So if I go down here. Oh my God. What the hell is that thing? Sweet mother of mercy. Right, we're gonna have to think about this. Uh... <laughs> um, hmm. 
Alright, closing that door, I'll open that one. Oh, I gotta lure that thing out somehow. Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Hit the button! We've got to be faster than that. You come on. Hit the button. Oh, come on. Damn it. So close. But don't worry. I've got a plan to get rid of him. Ah, oh, damn it. He's a bit smarter. No, he's not smart. He's just dumb. Come over here, you. I need you to get all the way down here. Okay, now I leg it. Hopefully I can make it between two quarters. Ha! Gotcha! Good. Whew. Okay. Now I gotta activate the terminal, which means I gotta get back there somehow. I am gonna hope that this one down here will open the doors for me in the correct way. It will! And he's sealed. Excellent. Oh, what the? Activate to. Hmm. I'm sorry, did I miss something? Oh! There! I think all the doors just opened. <laughs> I closed that door. He opened the door, didn't he? Oh, blah, blah. You are dreaming light in the darkness. That one was actually a relatively easy one to deal with, but I don't want to deal with that guy ever again. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Wait, where are you? I finished the project. Oh, I'm up the stairs this time. All right, I'll have my way down. Please tell me, where did you go? Were my games that awful? Uh, the, the pill, syringe, syrup searching one was a bit odd. But that last one, that was uh, uh, quite the thrill. I was just fortunate to work my way around that one quite well. Okay, I don't like this one here. I mean, this kind of looks like a, a certain doctor. This one looks a bit mysterious. That one is a hand. Sort of robotic. Oh, hang on a minute, that's a question mark. Oh, I don't think I can do those until I do piece three. All right, piece three it is. If these get a bit long, I may have to divide it into two separate videos. Ah, this one's going to be a slow moving one. I have a fear. Smiley face and spider mask was bad enough. Dreams may also be one's real nightmares. I wasn't keen on spider mask. I am an arachnophobic. If we fail to dream, we will never truly wake up. We all want to achieve something significant. Something has to give purpose in our lives. We want to choose our path without risks. But it fails. A 
fails every time. You just want to hold on to something meaningful. You do a lot of monochrome style gaming here. We want to be remembered. Even if it means working on it forever. Without ever looking back. Ha! Oh, it's dark again. Nice hotel room. Let's have a look here what we got. No pillows. Locked. Open. Oh, lots of rooms here. I guess all these are locked. Yeah. 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 Okay, uh, elevator and staircase. Oh, hello. The elevator was reported... The elevator was reported by worried visitors about an entity lurking around the lift at night. It has been... It has been not yet specified nor caught. It's crucial to avoid using using it. Please use only the stairs. However, we highly suggest to stay in your rooms at night as people claim to hear doors opening as well. Stay safe and call us anytime for advice. Okay, so use the stairs and do not use the elevator here. Who wants to bet it's another scary mask looking guy? Door 12. Don't you flick around me light. Me going down this endless staircase. He's going to chase me, isn't he? I've got this feeling I'm going to get chased back up the stairs. 11? Oh, wow! It's not an infinite staircase, but it's close enough. How many levels are there? It's very steep levels. <laughs> Is that an eyeball? That was disturbing. I've never seen anything like that before. It kind of looked like... Uh, has anyone seen that old War of the Worlds film based in the 50s? Not the one with the tripods, the one with the flying things. Look like one of those aliens. If anyone who gets to read this, do use the lift when needed. It could be anywhere. God pray for us to escape this place. I am not using the lift. I am not using the lift! You think it's using the lift? I thought it was going to be a little guy. Okay, clearly I was supposed to have used the lift. <laughs> Not that one, the next one. Ah, that was scary. I'm sweating. Okay, let us use the elevator on the eighth floor and let's not dawdle. It's apparently very quick. Uh, which floor? Um, okay, zero didn't work. Maybe I should push the emergency button. Wow. Okay, I'm at a loss. Maybe I just got to go to the next floor down, which would be floor seven. Guys, come on! This isn't fair making me restart all the way back to the beginning again. People will just get bored eventually. Maybe you can't use the lift. Maybe you just gotta wait for him to pass you by. I'm gonna guess you have to wait until he passes by. Uh, 
Okay, fine. I'll just sit here. Alright, I'll try one. I think that'll do guys for this first part anyway, because uh, I've tried many times to try to get around that guy, and if I ignore the elevator, the guy just seems to kill me anyway. So yeah, I will resume once I've figured out how to get past him. Watch right yourself, the link is below. I'll see you soon. Keep playing.